In this video, I watched every single episode of The Walton File. You go, you crawl back in there right now. Stop telling you. If you guys don't know, we are big fans of watching analog horror on twitch.tv slash quite where we stream this. Mandela Catalog, The Monument Mythos, Gemini. The last big one we were really missing was The Walton File. I'd watched it in the past and kind of dropped it, but I decided, hey, it's been a while. I feel like I should give it another shot. And I was not let down. <laughs> At this point, I would simply sprint in the uh, like opposite direction. If you were there live, you would have seen me pooing myself in real time because this stuff is scary. And if you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. Also, did you know only like a fifth of you guys are subscribed with notifications on? That really, really hurts my feelings. If you subscribe and hit that bell, you never miss an upload again. It takes two seconds, and you can always undo it later if you decide you hate. If not, though, enjoy this video. Hi, welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. That's the most you're gonna die while working a shift here name I've ever seen. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. Bond's Burgers. Is, <laughs> is that like a Bob's Burgers play on thing or is that like just completely separate? Now that looks fucked immediately. That character design is already terrifying. I'm not gonna lie, these guys suck at singing. Like, they can't harmonize for shit. They should really work on it. See what I'm saying? That not, that's not really in tune, man. To the showstoppers, Bond Shaw, Bonzo, and Danny, a computer the anime. Oh, he says it. Listen, if you looked at those animatronics designs and thought they weren't gonna do anything but fucking murder kids, you, like, you, you were on a tab of acid. The technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Hello, my name is you. <laughs> Your name, insert here. Robot maintenance and repair. And learning. I don't know why, but I think like the like plush buddy design. It's cute. It's like it's like it's very like soft. He looks friendly and like he has no idea where he is. <laughs> this guy ain't got no neck, L. In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Furry character still moment. Save, restore, secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all valuable items from the close for good. Bonds Burgers restaurant. Given the situations about the incident since 1974! Bonds Burgers location any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside a bunker located deep in St. Juana's forest for good. Jack Walton, my beloved. Is he gonna be like a villain and you guys are just really, really down bad for a serial killer again? Like, I I'm down for Springtrap, but only Springtrap, not the serial killer bit. He is planning to have him sleep over with him. He has everything set up for the- Look how friendly he is! I can tell he has friends. He looks like a friendly guy. So bug-eyed in this picture, dude. They did him so dirty. Why the- Why is he looking like that? Why is he looking at me like that? Only one staring directly at you through the monitor. Okay. Oh, overthrown. 27. Oh, that must be them. <laughs> oh, I threw the door hole scare. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie. It looks like that Which one picture of Germa. Legit, it's like ruined my- that- This picture, in any- anyone like it has been ruined by the Germa sus face for me. Oh, look at his little face mask. Look at him. He's so cozy. And staring right at me. Look like 30 degrees to the left or right. Either way is fine. Or, please, don't do that. Please. Jack Walton, last scene, 6 11, 2014. Intruder, alert. Like, he's like a bit scary, I imagine, but his character design is just really adorable. Like, I don't know what to do with that. He just looks so innocent and unassuming as he walks. Oh. Oh, for real, about to light up a bowl, dude. He's about to take a hit. If I'm gonna deal with this haunted shit, I need to be off my ass for this. Wait, 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 wait. Where, where is it? Where is my lighter that I own explicitly for doing bits? Can't do this shit sober. I gotta be high for this. Accurate smoking noises. Oh god, that smells. Smells like a sewer down here. Damn, they did not take care of him. Look at- Oh my fucking god! You know, despite it being like a 2D drawing, in hindsight, I really think they did a good job of the composition of this shot. So is, them, is this them performing maintenance, or is this someone breaking in? This is me after like trying to drink with British people, man. They fucking put me under a table whenever I go there. But please put those eyes away. I preferred you as a stuffed animal. <laughs> That's what weed does to you guys. Makes you bleed from your brain. Oh. Oh. 
Man, they fucked his face up, dude! Hey, dude, they turned him to a pear! He's more banana than man these days, Jesus. And he smiles, Incorporated. Got the Sherlock hat on? No, that's a hard hat. That's so- that's adorable! The Relocate Project is the name of this one. Bro, he got the green top. He's got the green top, man. You really made your, your hut out of dirt. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. He, he's putting together uh, multiple write-ups for the executive board. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. I, I thought they were gonna say a giant cock. It's, um... I don't like- I do not like the way he's staring at me. Little penis nose, do not like the way he's staring at me. Model used, Banny created in 1974. She's looking in two directions at once. The mouth is a pre-relocate feature. I'm watching this at normal speed, right? I just need- I just need to double check. Wink, the feature is brand new. And talk about a carrot! <laughs> you know, just provide a great experience for the customer. Why does she just leave? I don't get it. There's like four doors there. Just like stop going back through them, idiot. Check. Key. Check. Camera. Check. <laughs> it's looking at me. It's looking at me funny. Both of them are looking at me funny. Wow. It's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Am I watching like a Marie Kondo Netflix special? Like what's happening here? All right. This is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. There was a body in each one. The third door is used to hide. Oh, she looks sad. Welcome to the basement. Did, right now. Did she just call me a slur? She just called me a slur? Holy fuck. That is not okay. Wow. 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 Now, please follow me to the next door. <laughs> she didn't even leave through the door. She just dematerialized. Remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. She's not doing so hot. She's not doing so hot, huh? You know, you're usually not supposed to bleed from your eyes. You might want to get that checked out. Not uh, great for you in my experience. The time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rabbit. Rabbit with real teeth. Usually those are supposed to be together, you know? Yeah, there's a dummy. There's a person inside inside a shop. Very cool. When she woke up, she looked beautiful. The following footage was recorded during July 1978, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians volunteered to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogramming the animatronics in order to execute the relocate project. The employees left to right are Hillary B, Ashley P, and Kevin W. <laughs> Looks like the Beatles, man. To the sub frog popsicle. So, it's the folks who made Abbey Road. The next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burger animatronics. It's interesting, like the- I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. <laughs> the back- the back- the back- it's like the song guy, it's like the song guy, it's like the song guy- We got texture blasted. The last door, I am- I've never seen this clown thing before, so I guess I'll have to be brave and uh- Trying to see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has cassette player being installed. My guess is that it's used from for birthday parties, like you know, playing customized tape or something. I don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> put the new dude, put the new Kendrick album on cassette in its like little belly. Twenty seven with new G wagon. It always comes back to Kendrick with me. Very shit's about to happen, would you? At this point, I would simply sprint in the uh, like opposite direction. <laughs> Hey, it's the Pharrell 4 count! Rosemary. Sophie. Can you imagine, like, you have a storage facility that's quarantined in the woods, but you still put the, like, the mascot logo on it? That's so funny. That's so funny. Little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but... Yeah, that's- is that Bond's version of calling us his kittens? It, it's bunny instead of kitten? That's messed up, man. You could've just- you could've just used the traditional term and been less weird. Safety of pills. Sophie. Safety of pills. Sophie. Oh, dude, the the fucking they use the everything everywhere at the end of time. Everything at the end of time dementia album. Yo, yo, yeah, I got my re like them. Gonna go. I don't want to be like them. I'm British. I'm spitting. Yeah, I got hell of bitches. Yeah, it's so easy to sound British, man. It's so easy. Yeah, I'm in my game of chair shitting, pissing, dicking. Come on, all of the money. Come on up. Need me some water. British people are so funny. British people are so funny sounding. Not exactly the same, you know? Wait, 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 wait.
<laughs> I'm wasting your guys' time. I'm really sorry. Footage from October 15th, 1982. Bunny Smiles came. That's not a bunny. It is smiling though, I'll give him that. Bunny Smiles Incorporated beta tester. Don't call me a beta ever again. You you won't you won't like my my guy Andrew Tate will set you right. Uh they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago. So please try to be careful. The janitor oh. Oh. told me these hey. are hell. Hey. I got I got carried away. Right. So you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> Fuck. Shit, I can't go back. Soak the hell carnival name is soap. <laughs> so the state of the art game is a visual novel? Billy. Billy! What? Billy! Billy! Billy moment. Billy just popped up the same way Anthony did in the spring trap video. Just the shark in the toilet out of nowhere. Well, what do we mean? Danny loves birds. She loves to hear birds sing too. Do you like birds? I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time playing later on. I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels and it crashed a couple of times too. Huh. Then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. Yeah, the machine grows an arm and pulls out a knife and robs you. Now imagine this game with 120 F plus ray tracing and like a like a 10 like a imagine this with a 1024 by 1024 pick texture pack. Oh my god. Be such an improvement. And my gamer rig could do it. Quite it's an arcade cabinet from the 80s. Yeah, so dog shit compared to my rig. That's all I'm hearing. Uh, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. You cannot physically make worse content? Watch me, bro. Fuck it, watch me. You think I've hit a low? I can go even lower, motherfucker. I can waste your time in even more effective ways. You have no idea. Don't test me on this. I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, all right. Hi, Bon. Billy. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in a ridiculously complex puzzle. This clown's talking to itself. Kind of an idiot. There's no one there. It's just you, bud. <laughs> Oh, I don't like I don't like how like pixelated but real that is in the background, man. Not a fan. <laughs> See, at this point, I would simply leave the room and pretend I didn't touch that shit. What exactly happened yesterday? I don't know. The game just- it just crashed. Same, and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? Oh no, there is a high chance bennyfarm.ppx file data has been corrupted or its information has been altered or replaced by a third party. We recommend you unplug the machine immediately. Opening the file may lead to unknown glitches and errors in the levels. If you do want to continue, however, we warn you the machine could suffer major changes. Case a complete shutdown, deleting all valuable information in it. Do you still wish to continue? Yes! I'm not entering that cloud level again. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Sophie talks to herself like I talk to you guys. She narrates like she has a Twitch chat to talk to, but she's just alone in a basement in the 80s. She was ahead of- Sophie was so ahead of the game, man. Alright, let's go. <laughs> she's soy facing for real. The original soy face. Bunny, you dumb bunny. I really thought he was gonna say something way meaner. He's like, Bunny, you dumb bitch. I'm so sick of you, motherfucker. Oh, he fell asleep first. Let's prank him, John. It's looking a little fucky wucky, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game needed some more see needed some more QA testing before it went public. Okay, I think I know what to do. Yeah, there we go. I noticed that these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something like if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something because simply because these have all occurred when i interact with the characters could it have something to do with them i've also noticed that i talk to myself a lot you think you're telling me susan woodings what did that say? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Door. BSI Techno Support Audio Log Number 3, uh, June 30th, 1974. I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing alright. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh... I look at some of these drawings and it feels like they could have been 3D modeled. Like this is we weirdly three dimensional if it is actually like a traditional 2D drawing. Not traditional, but like a digital like 2D drawing. The animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these, uh, especially in Bond. Uh, something, something fell off. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage 
Just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long. Your new player icon is Susan Woodings, everybody's favorite Bonds Burgers animatronic. <laughs> so when a chat said, why the long face? <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Most important thing is that you are having fun. Linda. Linda Thompson, do not touch. Redacted. 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 October 30th, 1964. Felix has been acting very weird lately. He's been drinking more than usual. I'm very worried about him. What to do? He came home at 4 a.m. He was crying. He seemed very unstable and stressed. I don't know what to do. Those, the sound of those footsteps is going to burn into my brain when I try to sleep tonight. I know I haven't talked here as much as I used to. This month has been so crazy. I moved in with Felix last week. He was very happy about it. Yesterday, Jack and Rose had their third child, a little girl. Her name is Molly. Jack and Felix have been pitched, pitching up the restaurant idea with a company that's interested in the project, named Cyberfund Tech. December 26, 1970. Christmas was nice. They built a doll, a gray rabbit for Eddie and Molly. Felix drank a lot yesterday. This has been a problem for a while. He is a good person, but he doesn't want to address this. It's getting worse and worse, but he doesn't notice. He feels bad about it, but doesn't try to change. It's getting worse. He's so submerged with the project that he doesn't realize how much damage he's going to, he's doing to himself. Carrots! Everybody loves carrots! Guys, come on! Everybody loves carrots! What a wonderful surprise! I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> wonderful! Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because... Most sensible protagonist today in any series ever. <laughs> Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Let's play. This corner is the same as this corner. These two match, these two match. Come on, come on. Good job. Well done. The top left, or the top, the bottom left and the top right, they match. I'm telling you, I told you this. Man. We're, me and Sophie are friends for real. I don't know why she's not listening to me. You're wrong. Oh. Can Congratulations! You're very good at this. Look at this image. Cloud. Apple. You spotted a difference. I did it on my own. I didn't need, I didn't no. need help. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted <laughs> <a> difference. <laughs> oh, just the circle on his dick, dude! Just the red arrow next, man. <laughs> guys! It's What's Noah Schnapp. What do they do to Noah Schnapp? <laughs> Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, I'm for the prizes! Who did they put inside him? <laughs> when Doja saw him? Nano, nano, nano. He's just showing off his grills, that's all. Listen, 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 listen. God, that is some terrifying imagery, man. Jesus. <laughs> She's still playing! She's still fucking going! She's like, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and do my homework. No, I'm gonna keep playing this. I'm gonna keep playing. Something like this can make. These are all faces of uh, people, people that I think I knew when I was younger. They're alive anymore. I mean, maybe they are, but it's unlikely because I would have heard from them by now. And this, this game really tries to make it seem like these people died. How is being scared of a video game real? Just turn it off. Just walk away. Just go upstairs. Go outside. Oh heavens, this place is so beautiful. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? I already finished my task. But you can check around if you want. I'm not the imposter. I already finished my tasks. Winks at camera. Sophie. <laughs> I know where he is, Rosie. A little unsettling, you might say. <laughs> Rosemary Walton, last seen in on June 9 July 19th, 1974. So is that a is that a red light? The machine did say not to play when it had its files corrupted, otherwise severe glitches would occur. Kind on Sophie at this point, she did have fair warning. Like, let's be honest, let's be honest. Get back in that well right now. No, 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 dude. Get back in there right now. You go, you crawl back in there right now. Stop fucking telling you. 
Bro's legit got a vagina for a stomach. That's incredible. Get brought up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Funny mail page. <laughs> Funny mail page. It's disappeared. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car maze. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been nice. It's, it's, it's about uh, an emoli. We have a school event tonight. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork and we'll see some taking soap to the dentist. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That Me. was this. Uh, this. Me when I continue to play the game. But now I think I I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I I know all of them. Suspect looking bare, I'm just I'm just saying. Sophie be like, oh that's a crazy cutscene. We need to get ready for the school party, Molly. Come on, be ready in a minute. And I'm looking for Rocket. The old doll? Forget about it. We need to get ready. Uncle Felix will be here any minute. Shadow people? Pretty standard for a high school setting. They had plenty of those when I was at mine. Me on Twitter. Guys, follow me on Twitter. At Quite or at Quite Bruh for the alt. Oh, uh, this is indeed a coat. Thanks for the 100 bits, Vince Coffin. And I'm realizing now that the music they're playing was what was playing in the background of earlier videos. That's nuts. Oh, now you're... Ed and Molly, walking, you know, just me and the corpses walking around, fucking up the city, out for a night on the town. All right, we finally found Rocket. Now can we leave? Yeah, the school looks very creepy at night. Where is Uncle Felix anyways? So I, I just want to like make sure moving forward, I have the timeline right. Ed, so Sophie is Walton's kid. So Ed, Molly, and Sophie went to the high school thing together. And Felix is the one who's dropping them off, picking them up. Is Do I have that right? Or am I a little mixed up? Sophie's at the dentist and Felix is, just needs to pick up Ed and Molly. Got it. I, I, I guess it makes more sense if they're like toddlers. Listen, man, the storytelling in analog horror is notoriously non-linear. So my attention span has been all over the damn place trying to find like hidden things. I've been cataloging things not necessarily in order, all right? Just let, let me live, let me live. It's the, it's the drunk, it's like Felix had a drinking problem that he never got solved. And they asked him, hey, sir, can you drive with your drinking problem? Thanks for the prime sub smelly fart lol. It's not the drunk drivers that get in trouble, it's the drunk crashers. So true. They give a bad name. I'm, I'm, I'm not back to, to, to do this, but I, 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 I'm not, not, not in the middle of this. Wanna go home, she says on the way home. Listen, I'm just, uh... Uh, I'm just trying to get you to come. I'm just trying to get you to come quickly, all right? Oh, it's it, she says it's all your fault. It's all your fault. God damn! What an understanding child that he's about to murder. Oh no, you got the bad ending. You couldn't find the barn tasks and uh, crash the car. You killed them. Like, this is, like, genuinely unsettling and really well put together, but I have- I have half a brain, missing several lobes. Felix, pick up the phone. I need you to pick up the phone. If anything happens, Felix, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. What's what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you can call. I ask you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know. Where are they? Where did you- Sorry, it's a bit crunchy. <laughs> The Walton Files 3 Bunny Farm. Wow. I'm so glad I revisited the series. I'm so glad I came back to this. I, I don't know what headspace I was in when I first watched this. I, I think it might have been I, w I had less patience when I was watching. And it I can imagine the voice acting in that first episode kind of had me like, eh, this isn't for me. But I pushing on, it like obviously improved incrementally and like, wow. Hell of a, that was a really, really impressive piece of work there. Gun them. Hello. My name is Felix Kranken. You look like a Felix Kranken. I, I mean no disrespect, but he this guy looks like a Felix Kranken. Didn't expect it to get that bad from the other pictures. 
<laughs> All right, it's just killed two kids because of my alcohol addiction. Feeling good. And this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember. <laughs> That, that's that's probably why I carry this this recorder with me. I know I'll wake up tomorrow. And I'll think this is all just a nightmare. <laughs> but they're mad. They're not. Yeah, they're dead, bro. You killed them. You killed them. Now they're dead. Now they're corpses. That that's why I buried them. Oh, he tried to hide it. Seeing what happened to him. <laughs> Excuse me. Jack's been the best friend I've ever had. I, I, and I like, killed his kids. Woo! Say Juana. Say Juana for us. Before it's next to the, the road. What I'm going to do in my head from now on, I'm going to imagine this guy slowly zooming away from the screen. It's either that or rotating the horse in your head. It's a great way of passing the time. I'll never be bored again. The Walton flies. That snowman fucking sucks. I'd make a way better one. Why are you saying hi to those kids? Why are you saying hi to those kids? Why are you, a grown man, saying hi to those kids? In case you haven't realized yet, this story is about Christmas. What a wonderful holiday, filled with colors and light. And hey, what's up, Doc? Scrooge! But on this story, Uzu will get to see the true meaning of this wonderful holiday. Wait, is this OG footage they recorded for? Like, is this like claymation, a claymation set they put together for the Walton Files? Because that's cool. Uzu in a toy shop. It was a very nice and pretty toy shop. <laughs> Ball sack cheeks, dude. He's got dimples the size of testicles. Incredible. Benny, you incompetent bunny. Did you break that mug? Yes, sir, but, uh, but, but I didn't mean to. Uh, I can fix it. I'm going to have to take this out of your payment. No more retirement account for you. Benny left a pipe bomb under Boozoo's bed the following day. He did not wake up. <laughs> Why, hello, me, good sir. I was wondering if you were willing to help us raise money for the poor people on Christmas. Help the but, poor. But you're not supposed to do that. This is my store. I can do anything Bro, I want. Bro, just snatched, Besides, like, money from the I'm poor. God damn. You are a greedy and selfish old man. What a jerk, man. What a man, what a man jerk. This is about- this is the point where the- The pipe bomb's about to go off, guys! The pipe bomb is about to go off! Dude, there's haunted music playing in your house. You're already dead. This dude goes, me 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 when he sleeps. Sad clown. Basically you guys. Clown toy, sad little clown. That's you, buddy! Open the door! Is this some sort of prank? Because it's not funny! You're breaking and entering. Hello? Hello? Crying child, are you there? Oh. You don't want that back, please. So let's do each other a favor and I'll say you regret. Let's do each other a favor and I'll say you stay. This song sucks. <laughs> Uh, if I was Anthony Fantano, this is getting like a three at most. Just evolved into my next form. Oh, I hate the way that looks. I don't want them to die. I don't want anyone to die. Please save them, I beg you. Please don't let them die. Please! Your actions are out of my control, old man. Should've watched Andrew Tate and pushed down his emotions. Me looking at chat literally ever. Like, lit like at any point, me looking at chat. That's how I feel. Resident Evil 7 basement. <laughs> that neck. He's got three total fingers and a thumb. <laughs> Hello, bozo. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was gonna be like, eh, it's fine, and he just walks away. That's a dark at hallway, that's not a door. Are you blind? Oh, that, that, that is a door, actually, I lied. Is that an emoji on it? No, that's not an emoji, that's freaky. He sounds like Pops from regular show? Kinda, yeah. Similar concept, just rich old man, I guess. <laughs> so, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Oh, he becomes the clown, with the stitched together forehead. Everything is okay now. Danny? <gasps> Will something bad happen when Danny? you turn around? Oh, you don't know how glad I am to see you. Benny? Oh, hey, boss. I was wondering where you were. It's good to see you're okay. My pipe bomb didn't work. It's not canon? Why is it 40 minutes long, then? Is it just like an extra piece? Benny? What's going on? What? What does this mean? It means get styled on, nerd. Like, what do you mean? What do you think? <laughs> Don't touch me! Where, 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 where the B 
being evil, supernatural spirits were mean to me. The results of your ignorance led you to where you are now. Why he opened the gift skill issue? <laughs> well, I guess that was the pipe bomb. I can't believe that was non-canon. Bro made this masterpiece just as like a bit. The end. Dude, he's hitting the gritty. Look at him. Look at him. Wait, I got, I got, I got the. I need to make sure this is the right song. You ruin everything because you can't. Hey, hey, hey! Look at him go. Bit over, bit over. Continuing on to the next one. Jack O' Lantern. You don't fuck with this one? Is it like in like a, it's a scary way? I'm not really pressed about if it's not canon. Like they're good pieces of media. Like this is really like the last one was really well done. Oh man, this is Halloween sucks. We barely got any candy. Maybe it's because your costume looks cheap and basic. Wow, that was fucking weird. Wow, that was fun. We got a lot of candy. However, I think it's gonna get too late. What about that one? You know. My life got so much better when people would be like, what are you scared? I'd just be like, literally, yes, no shit. Confirmed what, the, what they think I'm feeling. And like with no remorse, makes shit so much better. She had one more house and she picked the one that probably has no candy in it. Just, she would suck at the stock exchange. Hi, hello there, little children. Then come in, come in. We have candy for you too. Do not go inside the house. Don't tell me they went inside the house. Wow, this house looks neat. They went inside these morons. Oh. Little children, we have plenty of candy for you. Well, thanks for the candy, but, uh, yeah, it's getting very late. We should go home now. I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Oh, I hate that visual. I think it's a great idea. Besides, it'll just be for one night. It only takes one night to get murdered, that's all I'm saying. These kids are stupid as shit. This is their fault. They get murdered, it's on them. They basically hung... A corpse on the wall. Quite their kids. I didn't do this shit as a kid though. I didn't fucking like go into a stranger's house on Halloween. Did you do that? I don't- I- cause I definitely didn't. You scared me. I sleep standing up with my eyes open. Don't mind me. That's just Billy bro. He did- he's not bothering anyone. It's his house so technically you're the weird one. Hello? AJR starts playing. <laughs> Yeah, it's Kesha, dude. It's it's straight up Kesha. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me these melodies are different. You can't. It's the same. It's the same melody. Who made? Who did it first? You doing okay over there, bud? You got a kind of missing your chest there. That's what the point of the mask is, guys. Come on now. Still pissed we never saw what happened to Ducky. Unless those other kids were Ducky and I just didn't, couldn't tell. Selfie moment. So how are we feeling, fellas? I'm personally really glad I revisited the Walton Files. They hurt in my ears. Can't wait for four. I'm excited for four too. I am officially in the uh, pipeline for waiting for the next one. Pretty good. Never even got around to watching them and I'm pleasantly surprised with the content. Yeah, again, I'm glad I gave it another shot because I really did enjoy that more than I thought I would. Credit, credit Nexpo, in my opinion, one of the goats of horror content. His shit's great. As good as the presentation was, I won't lie, I'm still got my wires crossed on the timeline, so I need Nexpo to untangle all that shit for me because my brain's too small for it. This entire series appears to revolve around Jack's eldest daughter, Sophie Walton. She's the core. She was born into a family of three, with her mother being Rosemary and her father being the elusive Jack. A few years later, Two more siblings named Ed and Molly would be born into their family. However, due to events that Felix Kranken had a hand in, they would never, ever experience their coming of age. So were they like red in real life? On May 2nd of 1972, after being asked to do a simple favor by Jack Walton, the three became involved in a car accident that ended up killing Ed and Molly. Oops, now, cargo. Wee! This, this is the type of behavior that gives drunk drivers a bad name. Beaten up and unable to bear the weight of his actions, Felix decides to bury them in a forest. We observe them merge into that rocket doll. One month and nine days later, on the 11th of June, Jack Walton goes missing. Another month passes, and Rosemary Walton's grieving over her missing husband and two children at Bond's Burgers. She hears a voice coming from backstage, mentioning that, I know where he is, Rosie. She heads back there, hoping to gather any sort of answer to ease her mind 
yet is greeted with the face of death. It ain't worth it, man. It's not worth it. Listen, if you put animatronics in your food place, your food, your restaurant establishment, they will get body stuffed in them and they will haunt you. It's like it's st like textbook standard these days. Uh, in like a in like a linear fashion. Uh, that's the bit I need, so I'm just kind of to pull the plug on Bond's burgers, storing every animatronic inside a top secret facility in the St. Juana's forest. It seems like a bit much for what was a, like a standalone burger joint, not even a chain. They gave they they gave them a nuclear silo to shove that stuff in. Where did the money come from? Facility caretakers are tasked with the most dangerous job out of all of them, reprogramming the robots themselves. There's no way in hell that any higher-ups are risking their lives for this. Wait, no, you're, wait, dude, you're so right. That is the GTA font. How did I not notice that? That's so funny. Continued with the Bonds Burgers project years into the future touting himself as the only founder of the company, quite literally cutting any mention of Jack Walton out of ever existing. The thing is though, is that whoever created these tapes knows something. They want Sophie to remember, and now that she has, at least as of October 16th of 1982, leaves us to wonder if she'll be next in line to meet her demise at the hands of Felix Kranken's reprogrammed animatronics. Literally huffing copium, literally huffing copium. Uh, wait. I saw, I saw a gruesome murder in front of my eyes when I was a toddler, Wee! Sophie's left as the sole survivor, and sort of a key herself, that can open and expose the metaphorical backdoors into Felix Kraken's secrets. Doing this would allow her to finally expose his wrongdoings, ultimately leading to much needed accountability for everything that he did to her family. Love me a good Nexpo video. He really crushes that shit every time.